How you doing, man? China, it's Tanky Talda here, bringing you guys Call of Duty Hardpoint League Play Raid on Black Ops 2 or something. I think I'm missing something in there. Whatever. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I want to talk about clans and this next Call of Duty Black Ops Ghosts. And then I also want to talk about people just getting offended in general, and it's really weird. Uh, so anyways, let me talk about the clan thing. Uh, if you didn't know, they are getting rid of that Call of Duty Elite. They're getting rid of the name, basically. Um, and, but they've made a new clan system type thing for Call of Duty Ghost. And so I made a clan, and if you were in my Call of Duty Elite, you are now transferred over to this next clan. So I'm glad they did that, so now everybody has to go back and sign up. Uh, but I'll definitely leave the link in the description. Right now, it is called Mission Mangina, and let me explain how stupid the system was. I was trying to call my clan, because my old Call of Duty Elite clan was the Tangy Toddlers. And I'm like, that's really stupid. Not people are going to be want to, you know, that's just a really bad name. Just calling it my gamer tag. That's not cool. Um, so I try to be Harry Manginas because you know that's kind of my thing. Um, just I have a Harry Mangina obsession. Um, so they didn't let me do that. They said they deemed it inappropriate. Harry Manginas. And by the way, let me tell you right now, it's for grammatically correct. Since Manginas is a like person's specific thing like it's my mangina it's that person's hairy mangina pause for yes you know that's how you do it grammatically correct so i was like all right they just they got rid of mangina so just to double check i wrote mission colon mangina no no plural s and it worked fucking mission mangina worked but hairy manginas did not work um, and so I'm like, all right, I really didn't want to be Mission Mangina. Like, it's an all right name, but I want to be kind of a funny name. So right now I'm thinking of either MLG Boners, um, Sloppy Manhole Bushes, um, Mission Mangina, if you guys actually think that's cool, or, or another one, I'm not sure yet, maybe you like Horse Horse Rex or something like that, the Horse Horses, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter, just something funny, you know, leave comments what you think it should be, um, that'd be awesome. But anyways, and then I had more problems. I was trying to create a bio and a motto. And the motto I was going to put, Stay Harry Man China, so that's my motto. Fucking doesn't work. I was like, why? Like, I understand they put my name, but it's my bio. So then I tried Stay Harry Man China, uh, like it is, and it wouldn't let me do it. And so then I said, Stay Man China. And it worked. They fucking won't let you put the word Harry. Not Harry Potter. Like, hairy, like, hair on me. Like, you have a very hairy back, sir. They probably wouldn't let me put that in a fucking motto. So that was dumb, and I think I put it to sloppy manhole. I put sloppy manholes. They wouldn't let me do bush. Uh, they I, I, they might have let me do done bushes. I'm not sure. I know, I was just having so much trouble. So then I was going to say, hey, just, like, make sure to shove your sloppy manhole bush in everybody's face when Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, Call of Duty uh, Ghost. They won't let me do something about somebody's face. This was like the hardest thing of all time. And I'm not talking about my wiener. It was retarded, the stuff that they wouldn't let me say on there. And so I had to completely sense myself. So uh, the motto is still sloppy manhole bushes, possibly, or sloppy manhole. The fucking um, bio is still kind of funny, but I honestly couldn't put the things I wanted to. Oh well. So that was stupid. I really wish they wouldn't try to censor you so much. We're fucking gamers. We're supposed to be inappropriate. That's our second job, besides killing people in this game. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just want to also talk about something I was thinking about the other day. It's how Americans get really offended compared to, like, UK people, or just, like, uh, other people in general. Um, one of my biggest examples is, I was just thinking about this randomly last night, trying to sleep. People call other people's dick all the time, right? Like, wow, dude, that you're a dick. You know, just either joking around or actually getting pissed off, you know? Like, suck a dick. Wow, man, you're a fucking dick, right? You know, that type of thing. But in America, if you call somebody a cunt, that is honestly the worst thing you could do. I mean, you would probably be looked at worse if you said cunt to somebody than if you murdered somebody. Like, for some reason, that C word is super, super inappropriate. It's probably more inappropriate than fuck. Fuck is probably more widely accepted than the word cunt. And not really for um, the UK. They say it all the time. And it felt really weird saying that, actually, the C word. Because people just get so offended. But when you think about it, what the fuck is the difference between cunt and dick? 
They're, I mean, they're obviously different, but they're the same fucking private part, but on different people. Why is why is one more inappropriate than the other? Like, we call you throw a pussy all the time. There's another word for that. Like, you stupid vagina. You know? Okay, that guy the little nuts in the back. And I'm just overall, if you guys don't know, like, people just get so fucking offended when it comes to commercials and sexualism and shit like that. And I had some friends, they were feminists. I would say, like, um, my friend put on Twitter, she was like, I don't know what worse. Um, a girl that calls, uh, that slut shames other girls or a guy that slut shames other girls. Like, so basically people that call it people sluts. And so I commented, I was like, sluts are the worst. And she's like, well, thank you for giving my answers. Guys that slut shame are the worst. And she actually was mad at me. She actually got offended by that joke. And it just goes to show, people really have sticks up their asses. So what's one of your guys' best examples of somebody getting offended for no reason? Uh, another one, actually, is GTA. People got offended that, that Mark Zuckerberg looked like he died. And um, the iFruit guy, I don't, know, I don't remember his name, in the campaign, he gets he blows up you know, like in the face. People got offended by that because it was like so close to Mark Zuckerberg. Well, I'm sorry. Forgot people love Mark Zuckerberg. 31 and 2 in fucking league play. Say Harry Banjinas.